Alright, we're back and I'm making more of my map. I've already showed all the traps and stuff and I'm kind of just finishing off with creating an awesome map with the items from um, Pain Island. What do we have here? Ooh, shack. This will fit well onto here. Actually, no, it won't. Um, let's go ahead and I need some boxes. Let's move my angles first. Effects. Smoke monster. I'm telling you, they want you to make something from Lost. Here's your smoke monster. As well as the smoke here, too. Here we go. Cool. Uh, let's get some. I think it's under Legacy. Let's get some boxes. Here we go. You're not gonna be riding on that. That's just for show. some pallets put another box up there and we'll put one Fall on this way. Like this. But we do have to make sure you don't hit the boxes. We're gonna have a little ramp there. Not what I wanted to do. Um, keeping the same boxes. Let's bring them over here. Stack it on top. This box is too far in the ground. We'll bring that up. So we got the boxes, but looking from the side view, we're totally off, so let's move them over. Mm -hmm. There we go. Boxes are moved over. Um, let's have the example, or not the small items, we're just the example groups. I use the example groups a lot. There's a real easy. But uh, let's do general. Look for your wooden scaffolds. No, it's not scaffolds. Ramps. Where's the wooden? Here we go. We'll use these. 
Oh, that's too long. Ah. Still too big. It's still very big. So we'll make it small by pushing it into the ground. this that might be too move this back and we'll tilt tilt one again like this see if I could kind of smash it in there without Looking at making it look too bad. Like they fell, that's so why I'm trying to get the illusion or whatever for. Test it out. Not bad. Resume editing. Uh, let's have. Too big. I need a tower, but I don't need it that big. Let's have this pole fall. Let's go like this. Double it up. And then we'll join together with something from I believe it's from common oh, what's this emitter you can use the emitter to spawn objects into the world teleport gateway we're doing a uh, where is it at Oh, here we go, never mind. Object glue. Select glue members. Confirm. Physics. Not on yet. Now we have to turn this just right. So that that green bar ends up being I think that's perfect right straight on the line there we go that way when it falls forward it should be movable now we're gonna go where's it at triggers and events Let's just do an area trigger. Um, make it. Where's the area size? Make it a little bigger. I always use these area triggers. I like them. And we'll make it to where, as soon as you kind of ramp off this, trigger the effect. And then we'll add drama then. And then we'll use the physics effect, or physics event, which will tie to both of these bars. And then, whoops, I moved that. Oh well, it should be good. We'll take on hit. Get the phase of event. So let's test out our little machine. And we should be able to knock that bar down. 
Boom. Whoa. Kinda effed up once I hit the water. Which is probably an indication that I think it's stuck in the ship. That's why it does that. I think it's stuck in the ship, is it? It looks like it. Sometimes it screws it up and it... Let's look at that now. Alright, that's not in the ship. Go down, alright. Now let's test, test it. It may be because it's hitting water as well. Not for sure. I'd actually say it's because it's hitting the water. But I have not made a map in a while, so... I'm really not that good at map making, but... I just think it's not in the water, that's why it's doing that. Or it's in the water. Yeah, I took it out of the water, it's test track. Mm. Yeah, as soon as it hits the water, it wants to do that. So, let's just copy one of these boxes. Oh shit, I put it in the boat. And we'll put it down here. There we go. Oh, you can see my ramp to the ship. I have to fix that. There we go. So it is the water. Um, if I. What if I... I need to put something around it to kind of keep it in place. Would a tire work? This tire might actually work. Alright, let's try that out. I'm using a tire to... Keep it stabilized. Nope, just fell out. Hmm. So, tire's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to use some type of box and. Or, I got an idea. Let's use this large shipping crate. And spin it this way, like that. And then we'll... Copy it. Booyah! I'll spin it this way. Kind of like they're all falling over. And I'll also put one in the water. Probably won't be able to see that, but... Actually, I'll put it on this side. Now let's test this out. There we go. So I kind of made a little thing there. It moves once you uh, kind of get up there, but that's okay. 
Ah, uh, let's go ahead. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. Add points here. always change colors on these. I'm not going to in this map. But let's after that let's add more boxes because this is a shipping a shipping um shipping ship, I guess. Barrels Barrels are also unique. Let's go ahead and there we go. Then I have to fix that one since it's inside there. Also bring it forward. Just go like this, bring it down. Take this one. What the hell? It is late. Oh, yeah. That's funny as shit. Doesn't seem to want to work in the water with the bike. Well, that kind of ruins my plans. Oh well, well, here's just a quick look at the, uh, the, uh, the map editor in Payne Island. Well, I made it. Um, it's pretty cool. They added a lot more boat stuff. They added planes and you know, such, and it's neat. They added way more stuff for Payne Island, as well as Payne Island to make shit on, so... This DLC is actually very good in value for 400 Microsoft points, and if you like Trials Evolution and you still want to kind of get back into it, I suggest you pick up this DLC. Uh, this is Mr. Gamer Squad. I basically showed you all the things to this DLC, except for the tournaments, which I probably won't show, just because um, they're the same tracks, just in tournament form. And I just showed you a quick, kind of brief look at uh, map making and all the new objects. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll probably see you more for Borderlands 2, uh, and then after Borderlands, probably Assassin's Creed 3. So, I'll uh, see you all in later videos. Peace out.